Harry from Canterbury wants to know whether any of us have ever had any cruel nicknames. Um, he claims that he's uh, quite tall and rather hirsute, and he says he's often called Lurch or Wolfie. Um, he's always thought that Carl looks a bit like Mr Potato Head. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, there's no potato that round, but um, I suppose you could fashion a potato to be that round. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could, if anyone can uh, carve a potato into the roundest head ever, <laughs> yeah. pop a couple of eyes on it. Make um, it look as much like Carl as possible. Exactly. But yeah, did any nicknames? Did you ever have a nickname, uh, Rick? No, mine was boring. I didn't have any. It was just around the name, like Jerv or something like that. No, I didn't have nicknames. I always wanted a nickname. Um, I just thought it was quite cool for some reason, particularly because gangsters always seem to have nicknames. Lefty. You know, fingers. Yeah. Lefty, yeah. Uh, Scarface. Yeah. And so I, I decided that I thought, because no one was giving me a nickname at school, it was kind of annoying, or certainly not to my face, yeah. that I decided to just come up with one. Yeah. And so I went, I remember I was at lunch once, and I just said to my mate Phil... How old were you? Uh, 12, 13. Brilliant. I just said to him, uh, <laughs> Phil, um, don't know if you know, mate, but... Um, People aren't calling me Steve anymore. Everyone's everyone's calling me Spud now. Now I don't know why I thought Spud. It's weird we should talk about Mr. Potato. Head. I don't know why I thought Spud was a was a cool nickname. I just sort of, I think it's, it's a grown up it, name though, isn't it? And it's also because I think it sounded like uh, it was probably either something that you'd find in one of those kids books, like the Famous Five or like the Bash Street Kids. They'd be Spud. And I always imagine with Spud, he's not the leader of the gang, but he's a reliable member. I think you know Spud I mean? is the biggest lorry driver in one yeah. particular sort of uh, car park. Yeah. And here comes Spud. Yeah. And he gets out, all right, boys. And he's big and massive. And it, Spud can eat two breakfasts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I just in my mind it was yeah that I would be one day part of a gang and it's. I'm Pinky, this is Joe Joe and the tall guy Spud. And you know, catch on, never really caught. And he just went, Oh yeah, right. And no one started and I was hoping he'd go, you know, everyone's calling him Steve Spud. Yeah. But of course Hey Spud, the first time I said Spud, and you go, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd be really proud, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> Did you have a nickname? Um not not really I mean there was a lot of people on the estate that I grew up on. You know, nicknames are, are big things on estates and that. Yeah. Um a lot of my dad's mates, right? What what their nicknames did was tell you about them. Do you know how I said about the Elephant Man's a good name? Yeah. Because, like, you know what you're going to get. If someone said, Elephant Man's popping around in a bit, it wouldn't <laughs> be a shock when he walked in. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so so it, was, it worked in that sort of uh, sort of thing. You know, so there was, uh, there was John the Screw, right? John the Screw? Yeah. Whether he had sex a lot or he worked in a prison? No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you had him, right? right? There was uh, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg, yeah. Which is, I, yeah, I assume right. it's because he was at the same IQ as you, yeah. or, or or he was in a coma, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. There was there was uh, there was my uncle Tattoo Stan. All right. right. Yeah. He had he had like loads of tattoos that he'd just done himself. Oh my right. God. The the problem <laughs> was because he did his tattoos himself. Oof. The ones on his left arm were really good because <laughs> <laughs> he was right-handed. On his right arm, rubbish. Right? <laughs> um, so so there was him. Oh, great. And there was um, Jimmy the Hat. Jimmy who, the Hat. Yeah. Did and he that, always wear a hat? No, he didn't. That that's that was the point there. That he, he never wore a hat. That's amazing. Brilliant. How can you pick up on someone never wearing a hat? How would you ever notice? I'll tell you what, I've noticed something about Jimmy. What? Go on. He doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> why, why was he not called Jimmy the Parrot? Because he, he never carries a parrot. <laughs> no, 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 that's just the way, I mean, that's how they work, isn't it? I mean, here, that, that, here comes Jimmy Three Legs. Why'd you call him that? He hasn't got three legs. I didn't really have one apart from, um, like, I had a CB. You know, like when you'd go on a CB radio and have a chat to people. Oh, this was a craze in the, uh, was it late 70s, early 80s? Sort of early 80s. And, uh it was just short band radio, wasn't it? Everyone had these little handsets and they'd speak to each other in the sort of local area. Yeah, it was mainly... I think it started off with, like, Lorry drivers, isn't it? Yeah, truckers, yeah, because there was that, that thing from, like, about 1970... Convoy. Was convoy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I had one of them, and the handle... I had, I had two handle different Handle, I mean, is your nickname, your yeah, name. Yeah, there's loads of code code stuff. Yeah. Um, I had I had a couple. I had... Um, there was Pilkey 01, because, right. like I say, there's a lot of Pilkingtons and that. In Manchester, so if someone wants Pilky O2, it's open. Do you know what I mean? They can have it. And then... Um... <laughs> that, is, that is people scrabbling. For, oh, I, want yeah. Pil- <laughs> I want a Pilky O1. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, because I did boxing and that... Well, you did it once. <laughs> yeah. I had, uh, I had Boxer Boy, because I thought that that's quite a good image as well. That's kind of like people going, oh, don't mess with him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he asks what your handle is, tell him. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. He's the boxer boy in that. Yeah. So just add them two, and I used to just go on there and... Pointless. What is the point of this? Well, you just you just meet people, don't you? And you so don't meet people. You say, what's your handle? You're a boxer boy. What's yours? Uh, uh, rubber duck. All right, cheers. No, but then, but then you'll say, like, then you go, oh, uh, what's your 20? What's that mean? That's, where are you? Well, why don't you say, where are you? Because just in case there's someone who's listening in who, who you know, you hear about this all the time, don't you? People listening, jotting stuff down. Oh, right. So just in case someone in the world doesn't know what handle means, they're, they're out of the loop. They're yeah. out of the loop. It's hardly the, it's not a difficult code to crack, is it, yeah. if you're trying to track someone? It's hardly the head of the mafia talking to each other because the FBI are on the wire. It's ridiculous. Like, I go, oh, you keep saying that, wash your handle, and they come back with something else. I, <laughs> I can't work out what's going on. No, it's like, it's like anything, isn't it? That's what codes... That's what, you know, that's what codes are all about, isn't it? You set them up and that. Go on, and tell me, tell me the code, then. Reveal it long last to the world, what yeah. these codes are. Right, so, yeah. what's your 20? Where oh, are you? This is better than the Enigma. Yeah. Right, now, here we go. Right. How many candles are you burning? Uh, does that mean how big's your car or something like that? Horsepower or something? See? No, that's that's. How oh, old what are you? time is it? No, how old are you? What how old are you? Okay. Right. right. Um, how many candles are you burning? Of course. Yeah. So what? The, what's the answer? Come back. You go. Uh, I'm fifteen. Fourteen. Brilliant. That code, <laughs> that code, there's no one gonna work that out. I wish you'd have kept a diary of this because this has been fascinating. <laughs> now and again, someone will come in and go uh, side on. Right. What's that mean? And that means like there's someone sat there listening into Ooh. this chat and going, "This sounds interesting." Yeah, no, it does. Unlikely. <laughs> yeah. And they they want to join in, so they sort of go side on. You go side on, bring it in, right? And they go, "All right." How many candles are you burning? <laughs> yeah. What's your twenty? That's the only again. Yeah. See you later. What's your twenty? How many candles are you burning? Oh. And, I mean, it seems to me that what you should have done is make made a note the first time, so that when you then speak to them again, you don't need to ask them those questions. Can I just confirm that you're burning fifteen? 